How's it going guys, CB7 here, and today I'm going to be doing a player review on Team of the Season, Van Hinkle. And basically guys, before this video starts, if you are new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And basically, I did upload two other Team of the Season player reviews on my channel today. Those were on Team of the Season Bamba and Team of the Season Neves. So if you want to check out those videos, the links to those will be in the description. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So basically guys, Van Henkel is an 87 rated center mid from the Netherlands League. This card was released for the community team this season, and he does have some great all-round stats, which is why I decided to review him. Basically, this guy is 6 foot 1, he has high medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. I did pick him up for 58,000 coins, but since I bought him, his price has rised actually considerably. And you can probably pick him up now for around 70,000 coins. Now onto the in-game stats of this card and just take a look at those stats. All of them are basically in the green except for two of them. But basically guys, out of these stats, his most standout stats would have to be 90 finishing, 91 composure, 89 short passing, and 94 stamina. Basically guys, if you have ever watched my video on Fup Birthday Sissoko, this card is very similar to that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically this guy is strong in almost every single area. Now there were some areas that he was very good in, there were some areas that he wasn't the best in, and I will establish that in the video. So basically guys, in my opinion, the standout pros of this card were this guy's pace, his defending, his stamina, and his strength. Basically 81 sprint speed on a center mid is very good. I do like my center mids to have at least 75 pace. This guy does have 81 sprint speed, and he did feel a lot faster than that, which was very good whenever I wanted to go up the field because I could just make a run with this guy and then play the balls out to the wings or to my striker. Now basically, I didn't mention this guy's passing as a standout pro. His passing was decent, but in some ways it wasn't the best. I did feel that his passing was pretty good in some areas, but I didn't feel that it was a standout pro. But what I did feel was a standout pro was this guy's defending. And this is what I really feel about this card, and I will talk more about it in the cons. I really feel that this guy is a more strong defensive player than an attacking player. He did make a lot more good defensive plays than attacking plays. I felt that his heading was good, his interceptions was good, I felt that he made a lot of interceptions actually. And also his tackling was very good as well. Now onto this guy's stamina, 94 stamina, 4 center mid, that's unbelievable. 94 stamina, this guy just had so much energy, and I really feel that his stamina made him more effective at the end of the game, and this guy just never lost energy, and he's also very fast as well. So I really just feel that this made him an even more effective player towards the end of the game. Now onto the final standout pro of this card, it is this guy's strength, which is 81. Now 81 strength is pretty decent for a center mid, it's not bad, but I really feel that his strength was a lot better in game than what his stats suggest. He was just constantly out muscling players whenever they got on the ball and he got near them. And I feel that his strength contributed as to why he made so many good defensive plays. Now onto the standout cons of this card. The first standout con is this guy shooting. I know this is a big surprise for some people since his shooting does look like it's one of the best parts about the card. Now when I did take long shots or just regular shots, I did get a lot of power on that so I will give that to him, but his shot accuracy was dreadful. Honestly, like whenever I shot the ball from outside the box, normally I feel it would either go down the center of the goal or it would just miss it completely. So yeah, I really feel that shooting from distance just wasn't something that was good about the card. It may have just been me, or I just may have been unlucky, but I really just feel that his shooting wasn't really the best. And also another standout con of this card is just how many times this guy gave the ball away. He was just so sloppy on the ball sometimes. Whenever he got past the ball and he was trying to pass it to someone else, or he was trying to control it when it was passed to him, I feel that my opponents would always get the ball off of him or intercept his passes. His passing was pretty good for the most part, but a lot of his passes did get intercepted. And then the final cons of this card would have to be this guy's league and his nation. You can somewhat find a way to fit this guy into a squad, but it is kind of hard. 
since I don't think that many people have players in their squads that are from that league and from that nation, there is Lozano, who can link pretty well to this guy, since I know a shit ton of people have Lozano in their team, but other than that, there's not too many players that can really get a link to this card. But yeah guys, basically if I had to give this guy a rating out of 10, I would give him an 8 out of 10. He is a very solid center mid with great all round stats. But as I mentioned, he is very sloppy and I think that his shooting wasn't the best for me, which is why I gave him an 8 out of 10 rating. But yeah guys, basically I did upload two other Team of the Season player reviews on my channel today. Those were on Team of the Season Bamba and Team of the Season Neves. So if you haven't checked out those videos already, the links to those will be in the description. And also guys, I will hopefully be uploading two Team of the Season videos tomorrow. It may only be one though. And yeah guys, basically if you are new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.